Hello everybody. Okay, so I'm going to do like one of my pages for my December daily. I'm going to do um, page one. I just went and printed off all of my pictures. Um, I go, or I went to Walmart at least um, this time. I usually do um, go there just because I don't have a printer for my pictures. And the way that I pick, I printed off my pictures, it comes kind of like this. You have two sides and it's like a collage. Uh, that way I get two on one. I just chose the collage option and then I put two on one four by six. And so um, then I just kind of cut them apart so that they are smaller pictures. And if I can get a ruler, I will let you know. I should have figured that out. How big they end up. They end up three and three quarter um, by two and three quarter. So, wait, is that, was that two? Yeah. Okay. So that, that's how big they ended up. Um, was two and three quarter by three and three quarter, which seems to be perfect size for what I'm doing. I was kind of doing a project. I'm going to put this at the beginning of my project lifestyle. Um, album. I wasn't going to start until January, but I decided to start kind of like a December daily um, in the beginning of my Project Life album. So anyways, I already know how I'm going to do this layout. I already kind of had it all figured out. So I was going to kind of go through the steps with you. Okay, so first, this is um, paper from my Scraptastic add-on. And I just decided to kind of keep it simple and use just papers from certain kits and things. So um, I wanted to keep this layout really fun, and so I chose the polka dot paper um, just because of the, the pictures are kind of silly, and, you know, that's just kind of how my kids were having a good time. And um, So if you're not aware of what we do in December, I don't know if you've watched the videos where I kind of explain it, um, I have an advent calendar, and every day the kids kind of have um, an, an activity to do. So I've been trying to, I've been really good about it, but I've been trying really hard to make sure that I get pictures of the activity that they're doing for the day. Um, so the first day was where they got, you know, they got to do a puzzle with me. And um, I do have three other children, um, but the other one didn't want to participate. Um, one was too little, she's three, and then the five-year-old, she likes to go to bed on time. That girl cannot stay up late. So she had to go to bed. Okay, so um, first I wanted to make sure that I kind of matted this. I kind of wanted to break it up and really keep it Christmassy. I thought that the, the polka dot paper was a little plain for the background. So I chose a really nice plaid. And I did cover up a lot of the polka dot because I wanted the plaid to actually be able to show through. This um, is just a cheap tab tag that I got from um, Staples. And it comes 100 to a pack for like, I think, $6. I am going to keep these tags for my journaling. I'm going to try to use one on every page. I want to keep something that was um, is kind of true to each page, and these are just really simple to journal on. And I'm going to go ahead and keep the string on because I don't want to have to change out every single one for every single day and um, worry about like what kind of ribbon is going to match and things like that. Just because I don't I don't have a ton of ribbon. I'm not a huge ribbon user. I do enjoy ribbon, but um, I don't have a lot of it, especially that would, you know, really kind of keep interest, you know, to the page and things. So let me see here. So all I did was um, put the, the tab, tab, why do I keep calling it a tab? It's a tag. I just put the tag down so that um, in case I don't want to get like too much glue underneath here. And these are the two pictures that I was, I'm using. This is the puzzle that we put together. Um, I thought I had a hundred piece and I ended up only having a 300 piece and then like 500 piece and thousand piece, but I wanted it to be a Christmas one and it ended up being a very difficult one. The five-year-old did end up, um, doing some of it with us, but then she got way too tired and went to bed. So she wasn't in the picture. So as soon as we were done, it took us like two and a half hours to do it. Okay, so I'm going to put the pictures like this. They are going to overlap, but that's okay. I'm not really going to be missing anything down here. And since they're farther farther away in this picture, I kind of wanted it in the background. And I think that this picture is really fun anyway, because brother's trying to give sister some bunny ears there. So it's kind of funny. So I'm going to try to um, not put too much tape on these. I'm hoping that I'm putting enough. I am, um, when it comes to... 
adhesive. I like to do too much adhesive. I go kind of crazy on them. I just want to be able to make sure that I can still tuck some things under that I really want to tuck under. I kind of wanted to, to share my process because they're so quick and easy to put together. And so um, in the uh, like ephemera pack that I got, um, let me see here if I have the package up here somewhere. Yep. Okay, so I took them all out. They're all out right now. The Snow Village ephemera pack uh, by Pink Paisley. Tell you what, that was like the most amazing thing I've ever gone through. It was so much fun. It came with two number ones, and I wanted to use them both just because I know that I'm not going to use this anywhere else. And so I thought I'd just use it as a tag because I don't want to duplicate the number one on um, the page twice. Since This is only a six by six. I don't know if I explained that to you. I'm going to be using my six by six insert pages for my um, December daily. And so that's all. I think I'm going to try to keep them, excuse me, I'm going to try to keep them all at the um, six by six size. So just to kind of keep everything kind of simple and easy. Um, and I'm also not going to be titling my pages. I, like I said, I want to keep everything really easy and I want it to be kind of project lifestyle. So you don't, I mean, I don't really see titles on Project Life, so um, I hope I can still get this number one down. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive under here since you probably won't see that anyway. You know, I've never tried to tape vellum down. I'm, I'm a newbie when it comes to vellum, so um, I don't have that tape yet, but that's okay because this is working. Just kind of add a little bit. And that is, let me get you up here just a little bit. That is it. That is my page. Um, I am probably going to trim these down a little bit because that's actually kind of driving me crazy. They're so long. Let me do that now. And I have my stuff out. I'm going to start working on number two. I have up until four right now. So I'm going to get all of that stuff taken care of. And there we go. So really quick and simple. Um, number one, I'm going to journal about what we did that day, about how we did the puzzle, and it was a 300-piece puzzle, and that's it. I'm liking it. Okay, so I hope you all enjoy it, and I'm hoping that um, number two will go as easily. If, if I can do this on all of them, I will share my process on every single one. Thanks all for watching. Bye.